Hello, and welcome to this video on Psycho Experience Commerce. My name is Rob Earlham, and I'm a technical evangelist with Psycho. And today I'm going to talk to you about the different types of navigation that are available to you on the storefront. Psycho Commerce has previously worked with the concept of wildcard navigation. With this approach, a couple of wildcard pages are used to serve all of the different catalogue data displayed on the storefront. So you have a wildcard page used for displaying your category data and another one used to display your product data. With the latest release though, we're now introducing a new navigation method called direct navigation. When using this approach, instead of using a wildcard page to represent different catalogue data, you actually use the catalogue items themselves. This means that each category or product represents a different page within the site. In this video, I want to show you the differences between each of these approaches and when you would likely use one over the other. So let's take a look at how wildcard navigation works first. You can see here that I have loaded up the Sitecore content editor and I'm going to expand the content node and I'm going to look in our commerce site. If we look underneath the home node, you can see we have a shop item and this is the item that's used to contain the wildcard pages we were just talking about. If I expand this, I can see two items underneath it, both with an asterisk for a name. The first one is the category wildcard page and the second one is the product wildcard page. What happens at runtime is that those asterisks are replaced with the name of the category and the name of the product. And that is what gives you the URL that is used to render out the category or product page. So let's take a look at how this looks on the storefront. You can see here that I've loaded up the storefront and I'm going to go and browse into one of my categories. Now, if we take a look at the URL, we can see the shop portion, which we saw in the content editor previously. And the text afterwards is the replacement that has happened for the first wildcard item. This is the name of the category I clicked on, and this is used as a replacement for the asterisk we just saw. I'm going to load up a product, and we can see that the second asterisk is also replaced. Here we can see the name of the product being used instead. So that showed you wildcard navigation in action, but when would you want to use this approach? Well, wildcard navigation is great when you want tight control over the canonical URLs that your products exist under. Even though products can exist in multiple categories, when using wildcard navigation, each product will only ever have a single URL. Also, if you want to control the layout for your categories in a single location, the use of the wildcard page for category data means that if you need to update the layout for your category pages, you do it in a single location. This is the same for the layout of the product data as well. The use of the wildcard page allows you to manage the layout for all of your products in a single location. So let's take a look at how direct navigation is different. I've loaded up a different instance of the content editor here, and we're going to drill down to the site defined in this one. Here, we're going to take a look at the catalog definition items. You can see we have various categories, and within them are the actual products contained. This data being pulled in from the commerce engine. When using direct navigation, these are the actual items that will be used to display content to the end user. So let's take a look at how that appears on the storefront. Here I've loaded up a storefront which uses direct navigation. I can go and click on one of the categories and we can see the URL at the top is differently formed compared to when using wildcard navigation. Here the URL replicates the structure in the content tree which we saw before, including both the catalog and the category that we clicked on. If I click on a product, you can see the same again. The URL structure mimics the structure of the catalog itself instead of using the wildcard items that we saw previously. So you can see how direct navigation changes how your catalog data is rendered in the storefront. But when would you want to use this approach over wildcard navigation? Well, if you want to have different layout for different categories. Maybe your homeware category has a slightly different look and feel to your electronics category. The same goes for products. Maybe you want a slightly different look and feel for some products opposed to others. 
If that's the case, then direct navigation would be the approach you'd choose. Also, if you want to vary the analytics data that's stored on your catalog pages. Maybe you want to have different goals for different categories, or campaigns that only fire on certain products. Maybe you want to define personalization rules that only fire on some of your products as well. Continuing with the analytics theme, direct navigation allows you to configure profiles on both your categories and products, which can then later be used for personalization and segmentation. Finally, using direct navigation allows you to use more of the out-of-the-box Sitecore SXA components, which aren't compatible with wildcard navigation. So that's shown you the differences between the two, but how can you configure this within Sitecore? I've once again returned back to the Sitecore content editor, and this time I'm going to take a look in the Commerce control panel. Now the type of navigation used is set on each of the storefronts you have created, and it's configured on the catalog configuration item. Here you have this checkbox which specifies whether to use direct navigation or not. Switching between the two navigation modes is as simple as having that checkbox either enabled or disabled. So the final piece of configuration information I want to leave you with is around which navigation approach is set up by default. Prior to Sitecore Experience Commerce 9.1, any new commerce sites that were created would be created with wildcard navigation enabled. However, from Sitecore Experience Commerce 9.1 onwards, that's changed. Any new sites that get created now will be created using direct navigation by default. And a key thing to remember here is if you do have an existing site that uses wildcard navigation and you would like to switch it over to use direct navigation, there is some configuration required to set up the layouts used by the catalog items. The steps for this are detailed on our documentation site and the link for this is included in the description below. Thanks for watching. I hope that's given you a good overview of the different navigation options available to you when using Psycho Experience Commerce.